Hi everyone, um, welcome on my guitar music lesson channel. Um, today we're going to talk about things you should know getting, before getting back to um, guitar music lessons. So first of all, let's start with level one. Back to guitar one. First thing you should know are all your basic chords. Basic chords that you have on the three first frets of your guitar neck. Uh, and I'm thinking like C, G, D, A minor, A, E, etc. Uh, that's like 15 different chords that you should probably master for that. Secondly, uh, major scale. You should know your major scale. Uh, let's say C major scale, but you can also work on G major scale if you want. And try to work on one or two positions uh, on the top of the neck um, just for practice. Third, your bar chords. Yes, you should know your bar chords. It's, you have no excuse not to know them there, so just practice them there. Uh, you should know your major bar chord, your minor bar chord, your seventh bar chord, uh, targeting roots on string six and on string five. So have a little practice, make some research. That's really important. If you want to play in a band and you don't know that, they're not going to call you back again. And fourth, know your notes. So what I'd recommend is learning notes uh, with the open strings on your three first frets. If you already know it, perfect. Um, and you can use like your C scale on the three first frets to, start to study and learn your notes. Also, learn your notes on strings six and five. It's really important because if you're looking, for example, how to play um, A flat major, well, you gotta know that it's on fret four on string six and then you can play your bar chord or your power chord. So you don't have to buy the uh, 1,600 chord book um, for learning um, um, your notes and chords. Let's move on now to back to guitar level two. So on level two, what I recommend is working on your pentatonic scales five positions. So you have pentatonic means five, so you have five notes in the scale so technically you're going to have at least five positions it's five different blocks on your guitar neck so start with um, e minor pentatonic or g major uh, pentatonic because uh, e minor and g major have exactly the same notes but they don't start by the same root this is what we call uh, relative scales so that's something really important to know and to practice uh, start in the key of G or E minor, and after you can probably go into A minor and C major. Secondly, I recommend reviewing, so your major scales, so C major or other major scales, your minor harmonic, minor melodic scales. So minor melodic ascendant, I'd say. So minor harmonic, you can work on uh, um, the seven positions if you want, or three positions. Uh, knowing that a major, minor, and um, have, they have like seven notes, so you're going to have like seven positions that you should master. So these three types of scales, major, minor harmonic, minor melodic, are really important for your basic knowledge. Third, working on modern blues chords progressions. So like 12 bar blues, but with some chord progressions that are a little bit more than the traditional one, four, five. You can have like diminished chords, secondary dominant chords coming in. And fourth, I would recommend working on rhythm exercises. Uh, so I can recommend at least three different books uh, based on rhythm exercises. Uh, you have the rhythm exercise book one, uh, rhythm exercise book two, and rhythm exercise book three that I wrote and I I have them on uh, different platforms uh, online, so follow the link if you want to get the ebooks, or if you want to get in, um, in, in the uh, real hard copy there, I can also uh, write down the link for that. Let's move on now to uh, back to guitar level three. So level three, I would recommend working on major and minor triads. So what are major minor triads? Well, in your chord, you have root, uh, you have a third and a fifth. So if it's major, it's gonna be a major third and you're gonna have the perfect fifth. Well, th these are the notes you have in your major and minor chords. So playing the notes one by one, that's what we call working on triads. So you can work on your three first strings here. I have other videos associated with the major minor triads. Please have a look. It'll be really helpful for you. 
Secondly, arpeggios, major arpeggios, minor arpeggios, uh, minor seven, major seven, and seven arpeggios. So what are arpeggios? Notes that you have uh, within your chord, and why not work them like scales, but you're playing note by note in your chords. So you're gonna have different shapes, positions here. Um, why don't we call them trides? Because arpeggio, uh, like major seven, minor seven, seven, have at least four notes. So it's a bit more. Third, we have improvisation exercises. So I recommend working on some cool backing tracks where you can work in the key of A minor uh, or E minor or other keys and practice your improvisation there with, for example, triads using different various scales that you practiced before. Fourth, song practice. So you can pick a song that you really like that's a good challenge for you that you're going to practice all along and that you'll be able to perform and, and master. Let's move on now to back to guitar level four. So level four, I will recommend working on what we call chord inversions. So as you know, uh, a chord has roots, third and fifth, but you can put those tensions there in different orders. For example, have a chord that's, that has the third on the bass. So that will be the first inversion, or when you have the fifth, it's gonna be the second inversion. So for example, working on chords like, instead of playing C, you can work on a C slash E or a C slash G. And work them on, for example, the three first strings of your, uh, of your instrument. Secondly, play a song with chord inversions. So if you're practicing your chord inversions, you can take, for example, Let It Be by the Beatles, uh, that has like an A minor, you have a C, you have a G, and you have a F. And instead of playing those basic chords on the three first uh, frets of your instrument, try to look on the three first strings of your guitar and play only with chord inversions. So first inversion or second inversion, it'll be more fun. Third, modes practice. So modes are colors that you have from your um, major scales and minor scale. So you have seven modes within the major scale, seven modes with minor harmonic and seven modes with minor melodic. So practice within on a chord, what chord do you have, what mode can you play? And just play along like that and improvise just to master the color of each modes. After we have song practice, so you can pick another song, maybe a different musical genre, and have this song practice there and work on something new. Let's move on now to back to guitar level five. So level five, we'll do a little more technical stuff. For example, first, you can work on some alternate picking exercises. Secondly, legato exercises. Third, sweep picking exercises. And if you like tapping well, you can work on some tapping exercises practice. I would always recommend working with a metronome and prepare like exercises or uh, patterns you're going to work on for that. Let's move on to back to guitar level six. Level six, I will recommend working on some blues song practice. So just pick a blues song that you find interesting to work on. Secondly, we can work on a rock song, something more rock, different from blues or jazz, that you want to practice. Third, a jazz song practice. Yeah, if even if you're a metalhead or you're more blues, well, working on a jazz song won't hurt you and it will even make you uh, go farther in your uh, musical studies. So just pick a song. If you're not too much into jazz, something easy, something that you think that'd be cool adding on in your playing. And fourth, a heavy metal song practice. So that if you're like more like a metalhead, something cool to, to practice there. And now finally, back to guitar level seven here. Um, select parts from, uh, for review from the start. So from all what we've seen there, if there's parts you need to review, well, you can make a little selection there of what you should see. That would be a really good thing, I think. Secondly, some ear training here, find the chords of a song by ear. So without using your internet or whatever, um, you're gonna listen to the song and try to find the chords, write them down. That's how we used to do that a long time ago. Uh, 
I was already hired in bands to do that. Uh, you had the recording and you have to write down like for two hours of, uh, of songs. It's a good exercise for your ears. And third, find and write a solo only by ear. Yes, so working by ear without using the internet, the tab steer, uh, you're listening to so that you really like and you're going to try to work it out by ear, try to find where you place it on the neck and, uh, and write it down and work it out. I hope you enjoy this um, video, I think it's useful. Um, I have a Patreon if you want to sign up for it. I have lots and lots and lots of tabs, more than a thousand pages of tabs, uh, and also lots of advices there. Um, please subscribe to my Guitar Music Lesson channel too. I hope you enjoy. Please leave your comments. If you have any comments here, I'll be happy to answer.